turn oh. the flash on. Whoops. It is. That's weird. Obviously, this model, of course. But we have, as of course, modern science likes to say, well, 99.99999% of an atom is empty space. That's not true. This supposed empty space in here and an atom is a magnetodielectricity. And what we think are electron atoms. Now, by the way, Tesla, Heaviside, Steinmetz, Faraday, on, on even the discoverer, J.J. Thompson of the quote unquote electron, denied for a long time that the electron is a particle. There's absolutely no such thing as an electron particle. And email me if you want a huge list of uh, logical reasoning behind this. But the premise that we have that that wires are like uh, huge rain sticks that little uh, electron atoms are pouring through. To Oliver uh, Heaviside called this, uh, called this uh, I think he called it a mind virus. Uh, Eric Dollard called it the same thing. Uh, Tesla, on two different occasions, said that the notion that the electron was a particle w was absolutely absurd. So everybody that gave you 100% of our current electrical grid, these people weren't stupid, by the way, um, but everything now is based upon Greek atomism. That's all general relativity and quantum mechanics are, is nothing than, other than atomism. If you don't know what atomism is, then I suggest you look it up. It basically means that the whole universe is just a giant bag of magical, unseen particles rolling around like BBs and um, volleyballs, you know, they're bumping into each other. And uh, of course, they've never defined a field. Never. They never will define a field because fields are particle free. They'll never define instantaneous action at a distance, such as EPR. Look up EPR paradox. But we know that it exists. Um, see, faster than light travel, instantaneous action at a distance contradicts the entire premise of general relativity and quantum mechanics. And so does the denotation of the term field, which has never been explained, never been defined. Human understanding is uh, still in the Stone Age, as we think are so advanced with our computers and our TV sets, but, but ultimately we're pretty stupid. So, ultimately, let's look again. Remember back to the feral cell. I said, you see this again? This toroidal form that you see underneath the feral cell? That's magnetism, as painted by light. Tim Vanderilli's wonderful invention. So, you can think of this as a zero-point ether pressure that has been released, longitudinal, the expression of that form in transverse, reciprocating processional hyperboloid is magnetism. We have ultimately only one field, dielectricity. We have the loss of that field's potential, just like releasing charge on a battery, for example. And the release of that field, i.e. inertia, i.e. dielectricity, is force in motion, okay? 100% of the visible universe is this is magnetism, okay? The entire atomic structure of an atom in picometers, as it measured in picometers, is due to magnetism, not dielectricity. So we have one field, one release of that field's potential, i.e. the loss of that inertia, as expressed in force and motion, and we have two field modalities, one being electricity, okay? frequency and amplitude, and the other one being gravity, which is a dielectric condensate. We have a nucleus, okay? Right here we have tons of magnetodielectric space created. Okay, space is not a thing. Space is neither a field nor a force. Space acts on nothing. Space does nothing. This is the ultimate brain virus and huge flaw that Tesla says over and over again, as well as others of general relativity is reified space as something that does something. It's like saying a shadow has done something or a, you know, a shadow is the absence of something, okay? The absence of inertia, let's just consider the central point here, which is not a point, it's even prior to a point, that the loss of that inertia is expressed in force and motion, leaves behind it a wake that us humans and our stupidity, all of us, Call space, okay? We live in it, we breathe in it because we're all existential beings, but that space is neither a field nor a force. It does nothing and it acts on nothing. So here we have a dielectric condensate we call mass or matter in its most simplex form, obviously. An oversimplification to be sure with this model, which is a Toro Flux, by the way. This cute little toy is called a Toro Flux. Um, it's a neat little device that every little child should have that gets them thinking in multi-dimensional geometric fashions. Um, so, 
that's the irreducible simplicity of the universe. Um, I have to stick fast to this and say that it's absolutely irrefutable. As so far as a grand unified theory, I mean, it's already been discovered. Whether anybody accepts it or not, you know, doesn't make any difference to me. You know, I'm just happy to understand it. But we only have one field, that's dielectricity, i.e. the ether, expressed longitudinally. That's the longitudinal pulse found within transverse electromagnetism. We have the loss of that inertia, the loss of that acceleration as expressed by force and motion. Now, as I told you in prior videos, there's a huge difference, especially in field theory, between acceleration and motion. And increasing acceleration in terms of gravity, for example, which is an acceleration towards dielectric voidance, okay? Gravity is nothing other than dielectricity. Gravity is no different than turning on your TV set and actually shining a light off from the side and you seeing the little dust particles actually head to the TV set and stick to the TV set. That's why you're finding your TV set, especially the little CRT tubes, got so dusty. The dust in the air would go <whistles> gravitate to the front of the... That is the exact same thing as gravity. People think that that is an electrostatic charge or like you charge a balloon up and you pull someone's hair to it. That same acceleration, not force, that same acceleration is what we ignorantly call gravity. Gravity itself is an autonomous acceleration, of which a lot of people call it in incorrectly a force, does not exist. It's like, what do you mean gravity doesn't exist? Obviously, I drop this and there's gravity. And what I mean specifically is that gravity does not exist. It is not an autonomous force. It's definitely not a force, which, of course, even the idiots of general relativity and quantum mechanics will admit to. They call it an acceleration, but an acceleration of what by what? We need explanations, not descriptions, and all that general relativity and quantum mechanics provides are descriptions, not explanations. It is a dielectric acceleration. It's dielectric avoidance. Okay, it is the loss of force in motion, because there are no straight lines in the universe. What we think are straight lines in the universe are infinitely, slightly curved. There are no, there's not a single straight line anywhere in the universe. None, nowhere, ever, never. It doesn't exist. So, hope I made that very simple. We have one field, we have the loss of that field expressed as force in motion, and we have two field modalities. One expressed as a dielectric condensate, which we call matter, mass, Okay, and the other one, which is expressed by longitudinal transverse force and motion, transverse electromagnetism expressed in frequency and amplitude, what we call electricity, so dielectricity, electrostatic.